So look, back with another Magnus Answers, um, the Black Tiger and the Snow Leopard. And uh, this one's from a longtime subscriber, Milfman, 1986. And he says, Hey Milfman, we haven't heard Time to play the game. That's what it's entitled. It says, Finally, Magnus has come back to do another Magnus Answers. That's how he wanted me to read it. I know that's how he wanted me to read it. <laughs> Says, hey Tyrone, can you please get Mrs. Magnus, Sarah, in this video? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I would wait. like a female. Why did you have to this. clarify, Sarah? In parentheses, I recently no have you know something I don't know? been doing. <laughs> he says he's been doing speed dating, which is pretty fun. Okay. But the last one I've been to, there was a female there that I went up to after the event was over. And I went to ask her for a phone number. She said yes, but when I called, Ooh, it was a fake number. An old fake number. <laughs> what I would like to know, especially from Mrs. Magnus, is why do females play these games? Because most men that's will not, leave you alone that's not true. if you reject them. This is not the first time I have gotten a fake number. Do <laughs> you introduce yourself as Melfman? Is that why? <laughs> now, Actually, answer that first. His letter is a little longer. Answer that okay. first part. I'll answer for him. that first part. The reason girls give you a fake number is because there you may uh, leave a girl alone after she rejects you, but there are a lot of guys who don't. I've literally been in the club where guys ask me for a phone number, and you, for the most part, I've always had a boyfriend. So I'll say, uh, no, I have a boyfriend. What's that got to do with me? That one right there insults me. Says you think that, you think I'm either a whore and that I'm just gonna <laughs> sleep with you anyway, or um, if you do get with me, if that's how you got me, like that's all you're interested in because you know I'm gonna do it to you uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, most girls don't want to be mean to you, so they're gonna give you a fake number because they're not interested. And they say, well, let me just give them my number and get rid of them because they're afraid that if they don't give you the number, they're either gonna hurt your feelings or you're not gonna leave them alone. I actually had a guy ask me, was it me or a friend? I heard somebody asked somebody for a phone number in the club and they were like, call me right now from it or I'm gonna call you right now and called her on her shit. It wasn't me because I don't give out fake numbers. Add to an ex-girlfriend. Called her on Fine. her shit and was like, that's not your number. And then it was like a confrontation in the club. He called it. It was wrong. Called it right there because with cell phones, it's different now. But it's it's mainly because they don't want to hurt your feelings or they just want to get rid of you, get you out of their face immediately. You may have been being too persistent. To me, if she, you know, if you asked her for it and she gave it to you just willingly, easily, and it was fake. It was just fucked up. You didn't have to. You'd just be yeah. like, oh, well, I'm actually interested in a couple other guys here. But anyway, so he says, for me, if a woman rejects me, it's no big deal. If she says no, I just move on to the next one. Like nothing ever happened. Also, it's like I don't understand when you actually do get a number and you're talking for a while and they come up with, a, with every excuse not to go out on a date. They're acting like I'm telling them... Uh, to meet so they can take a ride. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. they act like they're asking me, asking them to meet so they can take a ride on Space Mac. <laughs> and that whole playing, playing hard to get thing is annoying. I always let females know if you're not interested in me, let me know. It's not a problem. That's good. So they start avoiding you after you've been talking to them for a while because they don't know how to say they are interested in somebody else, right? Yeah, if, if a girl starts avoiding you, it's one of two things. You turned her off, you did something that freaked her out, mm -hmm. maybe you tried to get too close too fast, but that doesn't sound like you. That sounds like other guys would do that. Um, she's just not as attracted to you as she thought she was. You look different in the dark in the club than you did in the day. 
you said something that made her mad. You're not as conversational as she thought you would be. You're not as interesting as she thought you would be. It could be a variety mm -hmm. of different reasons. Well, at least you got a it's few to write like, down now. It's just like, you know, when you stop talking to a girl, it's the same thing. He sounds pretty straightforward, though. He, he does sound so very straightforward. Tell. And again, most people don't have men like you are rare. Again, yeah. men like you are rare. So most women are going to play these games because guys play the games with them so i mean it's it's just kind of how the interaction works for you to actually say if you're not interested i'll move on is rare and i don't know if they're actually believing you or not because most guys aren't like that all right and he finishes off by saying love the video you and sarah did on what to say when you approach a woman but what about if it's a woman at the bar and also, what if she is with her friends? Mm -hmm. Do most women expect a guy to bring a drink to them when they see them at the bar? No. Uh, well, I don't. Okay, here's, here's my thing. I do know women that will go to clubs specifically to get guys to buy drinks for them. I don't hang with those kind of women. I think that they play games and they're misleading. I will not accept a drink from you if I don't find you attractive and I don't want to talk to you because I know in that guy's head he's thinking I'm buying a drink so I'm getting her into yep. bed or I'm at least gonna get a date with her I know that's, that's what right he's there. she accepted it <laughs> exactly and then the other thing is the other thing is if he buys you a drink you're tied to that man for the rest of the damn night he thinks that you're his now, That's and right. you gotta dance with him for the rest all night of the night because he bought you one drink. You're dancing all night and you're me. closing off your opportunities That's to right. talk to the other guys in the club that you really are interested in. That's right. So, ladies, please don't accept drinks from guys that you don't like, that you don't find attractive, because you're just gonna get yourself in trouble. Well, and I you're used gonna to hurt do. People. I used to send drinks to girls, and I come up to them and just be like, "Look, have you made a decision about tonight's opportunity?" He totally has not done that. <laughs> he has not done that. And and then on top of that, I mean, there may be some girls out there that expect you to buy them a drink and their friends a drink. I think that's bullshit. You shouldn't have to buy my friends drinks. It's nice when you do. It's nice when you do, but you don't have to, okay? Because I don't expect you to buy me drinks. Um, I never buy women drinks. That, that pink I've song. I've never bought a woman a drink before. That pink song, leave, uh, keep your drink, drink and leave me the money. It's you in your hand girl. tonight. That's how some girls are. That's how some girls are. They're just like, I'm here to be with my friends. If you want to buy me a drink, you're throwing your money away because you I'm not sick? doing anything. What? You getting sick? No. I heard your voice is cracking. Oh, I did karaoke. I was Friday. hoping it was getting sick. Yeah, she, uh, she sounds sexy when. We already did that video. Get back here. When, 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 you know, the voice is off. Shut up, Ron. You know, for just a little You're rest. talking to MILF, man. You know you're going to get in trouble like that. <laughs> and, and he ends, the, he ends his uh, email like this. He says, Everything right, jet flying, or you win Brazil, and that one with two million subscribers. Woo! You're not going to Brazil with no man.